Vaping and e-cigarettes could be adding fuel to the coronavirus fire. New data suggests that smoking and vaping aggravate the symptoms of COVID-19. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn's going 360 on these risky habits that can lead to potentially deadly consequences. We know the elderly and those with asthma and other respiratory issues are at higher risk of contracting COVID-19 and they tend to have worse symptoms once they get it. But what about smokers and vapors? We're in one of the leading vaping states in the country. It's perfectly logical to think that vaping or smoking in general is going to increase the risk of a either infection or a more severe infection. So let's go 360 on the impact of tobacco use and vaping on the coronavirus pandemic. We'll hear from the governor about nicotine addiction, an activist who says vaping is not the government's business. Doctors who say vaping and smoking can certainly increase the severity of COVID-19 symptoms. And we start with a Denver City Councilman who is immunocompromised himself. I'm actually paralyzed from right here, right at my lung. Chris Hines and the current council recently raised the legal age to purchase tobacco and vape products from 18 to 21 in Denver. The more we deal with it, the more we see how much it impacts the lungs. It's clear to him COVID-19 combined with vaping is a one-two punch. Just based on the little bit of information that we have that both are bad and both are going after the same part of our body. While a link is still hazy, infectious disease specialist Dr. Amy Ducro at Kaiser Permanente says roughly one third of new COVID-19 cases are those 45 and younger and data shows many are being hospitalized. I think what we're finding here is that there is, there does seem to be this unexplained phenomenon. Uh, anecdotally, there have been several stories of Patients who did not seem to have a clear risk factor are young and, again, as you said, otherwise healthy, having serious complications that would raise the level of concern about is there something that we were missing. But the smoke might be clearing. Dr. Robin Dieterding at Children's Hospital Colorado cites a new study of coronavirus in China. If you were a smoker, you were 14 times as likely to have severe COVID infection. Electronic cigarettes and vaping put abnormal and harmful particles and chemicals into our lungs. And that's absolutely the wrong thing that you want happening now. On the other hand, activists say if smoking is your thing, light them up. Your body is your own business. John Caldera with the Independence Institute says when you cut through the smoke, this whole conversation is about discrimination. It's more than smoke shaming. It is actually belligerent and hateful to people who have a different lifestyle. There's a lot of talk about tolerance and diversity and accepting people's lifestyles except smokers because we find them dirty and disgusting. The nannyists will use any crisis to try to take away individual choice. It's what they do. Governor Jared Polis says one thing you can't do is prevent access to those of legal age or chaos could ensue. Well, many retail stores are closed. Uh, there's obviously people that are addicted to nicotine in their own time frame. We hope that they overcome those addictions. I would get eaten alive by, by coronavirus. For Heinz, it's not a matter of shutting down personal choice, but setting a good example, especially around vaping teens. It scares me for the generations that come after us. In Denver, I'm Russell Haythorn.